Welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. This week we're going back in time to learn about a family-owned 1937 Alice Chalmers WC. David Maddox has spent many hours at his Missouri home restoring classics like this WC. He almost didn't get the chance when his grandfather sold it for a horse. My grandpa bought it brand new in 1937. He farmed with it about, oh, I think maybe around four years or so, and then uh, he started having some health issues. The doctor told him he needed to get rid of the tractor and slow down. So he sold the tractor and went back to using horse and team. It was out of the family all these years, and about early, early 1980s, my dad had retired, and he decided he'd like to try to find that tractor. Well, he could remember the man's name that had bought it and thought he knew generally where he lived. So him and his buddy went out looking for it and they found him. When they pulled up to the farm, they could see the tractor sitting in the fence row. It took him about two years to get it, get it bought. He didn't want to sell it at first. So he bought it and put it in his barn and it sat there for several years. Then about, oh, 2003 or so, I got a hold of it and I decided I wanted to get it get it rebuilt for my grandpa Benton's sake, you know, and I got her all done and, and I take it to several shows. Of all the tractors I own, this is the only one that for sure will, will never be sold if I have anything to do with it. I plan on handing it down to uh, grandsons and then it'll be their responsibility to do whatever they want to with it. But I've got a little two bottom uh, 212 plow that I'll take out and, and plow with it every once in a while. And, and it's, it's pretty neat that old, you put, put a load on that tractor and it'll just cackle. It, it's really neat. I'd rather plow with that thing than, than anything else out there. Thanks so much. Well, up next, cotton harvest has been chaos this year from too dry to too wet. It's an issue farmers all across the South are facing. But more than just harvest, it's trade weighing on the minds of farmers. We'll have that story next. U.S. Farm Report is produced and distributed by Farm Journal Broadcast.